Pete Dunn's WWE NXT contract is reportedly set to expire soon. Dunn's deal is reportedly coming up sometime after SummerSlam weekend in late August. According to Fightful Select, there is no confirmation on the actual expiration date, but we will keep you updated. The Pete Dunn contract situation is said to be similar to the recent Adam Cole contract situation, but no other details were provided. There is no word on if Dunn plans to resign with WWE or, or if he will become a free agent this summer. Uh, should Pete Dunn go or stay? Uh, me personally, it's 50-50. I can see him staying. I can see him leaving at the same time. Um, if he stays, man, I, if, if he stays, man, I really want to see him do more in NXT. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, he hasn't done much in NXT after he lost the NXT UK championship, in my opinion. You know, he... He challenged for the NXT Championship a couple of times and he failed. Uh, I don't think he ever went for the NXT North American Championship. Uh, me personally, if I was if I was Pete Dunne, I would leave and go to New Japan. But he just moved his family to the States and I don't think he wants to move back out of the States and like go in and out, in and out. You can't, no. I don't think he's going to do that. Um, I could see him in Ring of Honor. Uh, mixing it up with a Bandino. I think that's his name. I don't watch Ring of Honor. I rarely do. Um, sometimes. Uh, New Japan. I, I, I could see him in those two companies. I could see him in RH or Impact. Or, or New Japan, excuse me. Uh, but yeah. I don't see him in Impact and I don't see him in AEW. I don't, yeah. That's just my opinion. Pete Dunne. If he stays, you know, I want to see him have a run with the North American Championship and then work his way up to the to the NXT Championship, you know. I really want to see Pete Dunne become champion in, in NXT, you know. And if he goes to the main roster, that's the guy that they can be. That's the guy that could be the face of the company in the next 10 to 15 years. You know, Pete Dunne is only 27 years old. You know what I'm saying? I think I think he should stay. I don't see him leaving. Like I just don't. You know, I think he wants to continue working working at NXT with Rich Holland and Oni Lorkin. And I think he wants to continue to pursue the NXT Championship or the NXT North American Championship. And me personally, he could beat Isaiah Swerve Scott and take the NXT North American Championship off of him, but that's if they want to go that route, or he could potentially be Samoa Joe and take the NXT Championship off of Samoa Joe. But man, losing Pete Dunne and losing Adam Cole after SummerSlam weekend, that's not going to be good. You know, I, I can see Triple H fuming right now, man. I I know he's heated, he's upset with the uh, with the people who takes care of the contracts and. Yeah, me personally, if I was Pete Dunne, man, I would give him what I, I would tell him what I want. I would tell him, hey, uh, you can keep me for two or three years, but I would want to stay in NXT. I do not want to go to the main roster. Do not demote me to the main roster, man. I just don't. Keep me, give me, give me some opponents till 2024, 2025. You know, have some opponents lined up for me, you know. I want to be champion NXT. I want to wrestle you know, the top top guys in NXT, you know, I like to mix it up with a Isaiah Swerve Scott, a Santos Escobar. I like to mix it up with a, I like Johnny Gargano. That's, yeah. And I won't be surprised if Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa leaves the company. I won't be surprised. You know, I just feel like NXT is just starting to, I feel like it's kind of down right now, man, because all your top guys three, four years ago, they're, they're not with the company anymore. A couple of them, they got a couple of them, they got demoted to the main roster. You know, they're not being used right. And you know, I, I just feel bad for Triple H because you know you're losing, potentially losing Adam Cole and potentially losing Pete Dunne. It's not. If I was Triple H, man, I. Just, you would not be looking good, man. I just... You got to blame Vince, man. Vince, that's the problem, bro. 
you know, Triple H creates all these good characters. He builds them up so good. He puts them good. And then he has seven events. And then Vince just ultimately just drops the ball on him. And WWE don't know what to do with their talent, man. And I understand. I, I, I understand Pete Dunne wants to leave and go to and go to New Japan or go to RH. Um because he knows if he goes to the main roster, the same fate is gonna happen to him. He'll be fine for a couple weeks. Then it then he then he'll get buried. They, 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 NST, NST wrestlers are starting to realize, hey, Vince don't care about us. I don't want to go to the main roster. Maybe that's why Triple H is holding on to Io Shirai. Trying to hold on to Raquel. I don't many room many people are saying Raquel gets demoted after she loses to Dakota Kai. She's trying to keep all those all this good talent, man. He he don't want to ship with events. You know, keep Indy Hartwell, keep Candice LeRae. I won't be surprised if Candice LeRae walks out the company as well with her with her husband. In my opinion. But yeah. You know, you have to build for the future. You, you really do. Because who 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 will be your top guys in 10, 15 years? If I was in charge of WWE, my top guys, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Pete Dunn, Adam Cole, Bebe, um, Damian Priest, Ricochet, Alistair Black, if he was still with the company, Andrade, uh, Shinsuke, Finn, Bobby Roode, uh, who else? Johnny Gargano, so I'm also Champa. Uh, I, I mentioned Pete Dunn. I mentioned Swerve Scott, Santos Escobar. Who else? Roger Strong. Bro, Austin Theory. You know, those, those are my, those, I got plenty of top guys for the next 10, 15 years. And top women's wrestlers, top women stars, because who are you going to turn to in the next 10, 15 years when, when the four horse, horse women can't do it anymore, can't do it full time anymore. I got my, I got my Indy Hartwell, I got my Candice LeRae, I got my Io Shirai, I got my Stoey Stark, I got my Raquel Gonzalez, my Dakota Kai, I got my Liv Morgan. WWE dropped the ball a little, Morgan. So yeah, those are my top, those are my top wrestlers. Those are my, those should be my top stars for the next 10, 15 years if I was in charge of WWE. Let me know if I left someone out. Let me know if I left someone out, man. But yeah, man, like, Vince just doesn't know what to do, man. And, and it's really sad that, you know, Vince is just not, not caring, man. You know, professional wrestling is not what it's like 10, 15, 20 years ago, you know? WWE does not look forward to the future. WWE depends on the part-timers. So they just look at look back at the past. It's not... This is not 2000 anymore. This is not the attitude era. This is not the, ruth, the ruthless aggression area. We are in a whole new, different era, man. NST was the best wrestling promotion in North America. There was the best wrestling promotion on the planet. Aside from New Japan and Ring of Honor. You know, back when NST was on was on a WWE net, network and they had a one hour show and takeovers used to be lit when they had a live crowd before the pandemic. But like during the pandemic and after the pandemic, bro, it just doesn't feel the same. You know, NSC don't don't feel the same anymore, to be honest. You know, what you did to Alistair Black, you lost Andrade, you lost Shinsuke, you lost Finn. All those guys should have, should have been easily faces of the company right now. And I forgot to mention Shashi Blackheart and Tegan Knotts on the women's top stars for the next 10, 15 years. But, you know, NST is just, I don't know what's going on with NST. You know, many people say they don't watch it on Tuesday nights anymore. You know, where did everybody go? 
Everybody went to watch an AEW. And many people are saying when they moved to Wednesday nights on the USA Network and they took it off the WWE Network, that's when it got, that's when it was starting to go down, you know, because it was, it was competing with AEW on Wednesday nights. And, you know, I think that's another reason why Vince is punishing the NXT talent. Because NXT, they couldn't beat AEW in the ratings in the Wednesday Night Wars. You know, it's just really sad how all this potential, you get all this talent, and then you let it go to waste. You drop the ball on them. Now you want to know why people, now you want to know why Adam Cole was potentially leaving. If I was Adam Cole, I'm like, hey, you know, I can go join my girlfriend. I can go join the elite. I get booked better. I get I get some sort of creative freedom with my character, etc. Same thing with Pete Dunne. He's got to be thinking the same thing. Hey, I can I can go to Ring of Honor or New Japan. You know, another, another big promotion. You know, I don't I don't I don't want to go to AEW. I don't want to go to the main roster. You know, I'm sure that, I'm sure the same company is going to give. It's going to give me the, the creative freedom and control over my character. You know, I get to keep my, um, I think, he, I think he has a kid. I get to keep my family in the States where I don't have to move them out of the States and go to Japan. If I decide to take the RRH route and stay in North America. Y'all get what I'm saying? You know, Triple H, man, if, he loses Adam Cole and Pete Dunne, man. That's, I think that would really affect them, man. Really hard. You know? Hopefully, Pete Dunne will resign, will resign, man. I don't see him leaving. I just don't, in my opinion. But if he does leave, you know, I'm happy wherever he goes, you know? Maybe... Maybe Tony Khan will go out and, and sign this, man. I don't know. I don't see him in AEW personally. I don't see him in AEW. I don't see him in Impact, but I do see him in RH and out of out of the states. I do see him in New Japan. You know, you can have those big matches on Russell Kingdom and all that. But hey, you can, you might you might can get Daniel Bryan because I think Daniel Bryan's gonna go wrestle for New Japan while he's under contract with AEW, and he can work for New Japan as well. So Pete Dunne and Daniel Bryan they can mess it up. You know, Pete Dunne, Kota Ibushi. Uh, I don't know what real, what real Osprey status with New Japan is. I think he's done with them. I think he went back to the UK because he got homesick and that's where he wanted to get treated for his injury. So I don't know if Osprey's done with New Japan or not. I don't know. I, his girlfriend signed with NST UK. So yeah. But yeah, man, it's just really sad that Vince doesn't care about NST, man. You know, I wish Pete Dunne the best. I'll, I'll be happy for Pete Dunne. If he resigns, he resigns. If he leaves, then he leaves. I'll be happy wherever he goes. I just want to see the wrestlers that I love happy. That's all I want to say. Anyway, guys, hope you get what I'm saying throughout this whole video, man. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and do you do you guys think do you guys think Pete Dunne is leaving or staying? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys tomorrow for SmackDown.